Hi everyone. Have you ever needed to make a decision around whether to build something for your business or to buy it from a third party or a vendor? Some of these decisions are very important and very costly and doing the work up front can save you thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions and sometimes even billions of dollars if you're working in a larger company or a larger industry. The way my make or buy analysis works is it takes all of the costs associated to make something, so if we're going to make it in-house and build it ourselves and design it ourselves, versus what are the costs to buy it from a third party. But it doesn't just stop there, it also goes into the ongoing costs and usually that's where a vendor or a third party will actually sting you. They might let you get in the door for cheap, but then they might uh, have a lot of ongoing costs and that's how they make their money as well, which is a fair business model. But also we need to know that and we need to analyze that so that we can make the right decision. So that's where make or buy analysis comes into it. And this sheet does a lot of wonderful things where it actually shows us uh, and it tells us straight up what's the best option. So if it's the cost to make, uh, in this case, it will tell us. But if we increase the costs to make, uh, these particular items, it's going to change and it's going to tell us the most cost effective item is to buy the item. It also shows us a timeline of those costs. So the initial cost might be quite low as we said, but then over time those costs might grow and uh, maybe it's not as cost effective over time and we can see that. So now this one we can clearly see that over time uh, the, the green one which is our cost to buy ends up in the end the most cost effective option. As we said, this single spreadsheet alone could save you millions of dollars in your own business and in your own startup. Let's create this one together. It's gonna to be a whole bunch of fun. Now the first thing we're going to do is create the coloring and the borders and the general shape of our template. And we might speed this up ever so slightly as we go through this section so that we can get into the really good stuff of creating the make or buy formula and the, the make or buy chart over time so we can clearly see that and show that to our executives or to our customers. The borders we're going to be using are the thick box border around most of the big items. Uh, and then when we need smaller lines or borders, we're going to use the more borders tool. So let's just do an example of that now really quickly. More borders. And what we want is our dashed line for our horizontal line here and a normal line for our vertical. And if we put that all together, it does all of them at once. And we're going to reuse this for the rest of our sections as well. The first column is going to be our initial costs column and then after that we're going to have our ongoing costs. So we'll merge and center this. Lastly we're going to have our total column as well where we total up all of these items. Then we're going to put our timeline in. So here are going to be our initial costs. Then we're going to have year one and year two. Uh, now this could be uh, months as well or it could be weeks or days depending on what is uh, what works for you in your situation. And the different types of costs we're going to have, put this over to the right and indent this ever so slightly and put it in the middle. Uh, but there are many different costs that we could have and we can just in, uh, insert more lines uh, very easily if we want to for our particular costs uh, section here. Now we need to total these, uh, these items as well eventually. Put this in the middle and over to the right indent it ever so slightly and increase the size. Now if we put a little bit of data in here, say $100 here, $100 there, now we've got enough information to format this section a little bit more nicely. We're going to select all of this and just select the accounting number format and put this in the center. Maybe we can make it a bit of a dark gray just so that it's a little bit nicer for us there. Now we just want to sum or total these together. So if we select this cell and say equals sum, open up our brackets, the sum of all of this, uh, these particular items, this row here, close the bracket and that'll give us the, the sum total. If we copy that and then right click and paste the formulas only, that will uh, paste that nicely without messing with our formatting. Now we're going to do the same for our bottom row where we equals sum and select all of these items uh, in this particular column, close that off and then copy that and right click, paste the formulas only, and that way we've got all of our totals here with the grand total being in the bottom right hand corner. Now we can simply copy this table all the way down 
as our cost to buy. We'll just change that there. Uh, and we'll just change the color scheme for this a little bit so that it does stand out a little bit more nicely. Now we can add more of these if we want to, just by copying more of them down. We might have a cost of another vendor or another vendor or another vendor, and we can simply copy these down and, uh, and have more of these. We can say cost of other, for example, um, or other vendor, or whoever else we want to compare this against. But for our purposes, we're just going to have make and buy. Now that we've got all of this wonderful data and, this, uh, and our cost to make and our cost to buy, we can create the formula that will tell us which is the actual best option. So to do that, what we're going to do is just a simple if then else function. So what we're going to say to Excel is if uh, the cost to make, which is the total here, it equals the lowest value, which is min, the minimum value of either the cost to buy or the cost to make, then we, we want it to say it's the cost to make. But if the cost to buy is the minimum value out of cost to buy and cost to make, then we want it to say buy. So whichever is the lowest value, we want it to say that one. And if it's neither of them, then we can just say none. Now if we press enter there, that's going to tell us that our cost to buy, which is $650, is the better option out of uh, the cost to make, which is $750. So we've got that correct and that's really, really wonderful. But now we can actually put all of this together and put it on that timeline chart so we can see how long it takes for us for it to be the best option. Because maybe it's going to take us five years and maybe that's not good enough. Maybe it's gonna take one year and that's gonna be really wonderful. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, we're just going to use a few little things here and we're just going to create a little cumulative section. With our cumulative section, what we want is for our first cell to be exactly the same as the sum here, so that's fine. But for the second cell, what we want is to uh, uh, sum the first one and the second one. And if we close that off and, and press enter, that's gonna be correct. But there's one thing that we need to do here, and that is for us to uh, make the first cell stationary so make it not change and we'll just put a little dollar sign so that that does not move but our other one moves when we drag it across and you'll see what I mean in a second now that we take this and drag this across uh, it's going to give us the right uh, cumulative sum and here it is it's the same as our total so that's what we're after now if we copy this and just copy this below our buy section as well that's going to give us the same outcome there and Excel is going to do the work for us. Now, of course, we can uh, either make this white so that it doesn't show up, or we can make it a really light gray just so it's not too obtrusive for us. Um, that's completely up to you as we're going along. But now we have this wonderful uh, way that we can actually create this chart for us. And if we just select this cumulative section here, and if we hold control, and select the other cumulative section. If we go to insert and go to our charts and select just a normal line graph, then this is going to give us the line graph that we need. But there are a few things that we do need to update. So the chart title will make that make or buy analysis. And we need to select our data. And what we're going to do is we're going to change uh, these two sections here. So we don't want them to say cumulative, we want the cost to make or the cost to buy. So the first one, we're just going to make the series name cost to make. And the second one, if we edit that, we want the series name to be cost to buy over here. And if we select enter, now that's a lot better. And we also want to change the horizontal axis as well. So if we edit that, we want that to be our initial plus uh, all of our up to year five or month five or whatever you choose for that to be. And you can see that that's updated that. And if we click OK, now the, uh, that's looking a lot better and it makes a lot more sense. But we still want to make this look ever a little bit nicer. So if we uh, right click and say format our chart here, I might just format the plot area, that's what we're after. And so what we want to do, actually if we select these lines now, then what we want is just change the color. Maybe for our cost to buy, we can have that as uh, maybe a deep blue, any colors that you choose. Maybe they can be the same as, uh, as the colors that we've got onto the right, to the left hand side here. But we also want markers on these just to make them stand out and make them a little bit nicer. If we go to marker, marker options, let's 
built-in options and make them a, a nice rounded one. Increase the size. The fill, uh, we want that to be the same as the line, but the border, we don't want any border there. Uh, and now that's starting to look good. We'll do the same for the other line too. And now we've got a really good visual uh, on how long it takes for cost to buy to be the, the more expensive option actually. So, and the cost to make, uh, so initially cost to make is more expensive, isn't it? Um, but then over time, cost to buy becomes the more expensive option. So that's really, really good to know. And if we just put a brief outline around here uh, and increase the weight of that so that that stands out. Now we have this amazing make or buy analysis and it shows us in this beautiful chart as well. Uh, and we can clearly see which one is the better option for our business over time, which one will cost more and which one will cost less. I've really enjoyed spending the time with you and creating this spreadsheet. And as we said, it can save you hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars in your own business. I hope you can use it and do something great. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.